Welcome to my blog. My name is Mary Norwood, and this is Evolution of Hope. This blog was started for recovering addicts to help them along the way. I have to say that I fell short of my goal as I attempted to walk with them through their journey of recovery. I failed to point out that this program is a we program. That means you need people. You can't do it alone. Not just any people, peers who are like you, who are looking for a new way of life. If you are like me, a natural loner, that's a tall order. One thing that can help is attending AA groups. Come, go with me to the bathing facility for a meeting. The sky is overcast and it's not so hot. We may be in for some rain, a great day for a meeting. The setting is Broadway and Halls Ferry and a half sh block short of where they split. The building looks weather beaten and sits in a parking lot that used to house the famous Baden Flea Market. There is a sign bearing the AA symbol and the facility name posted outside of the glass door. I enter the building and walk through a short corridor. I notice a court board to my immediate left that displays meeting information. As I enter the room, my nostrils fill with the mixed aroma of mildewing ceilings, rotting wood, and brewing coffee. In the center of the room, there are two sets of three long tables pushed together to make a giant conference table, with a stack of AA stuff centered in the middle of the table arrangement. Chairs surround the table and more line the left wall. Both left and right walls have huge mirrors that open up the room and give it a sense of depth. As I enter, I am greeted by old faces and a few new ones. Mary, welcome back. It's good to see you. Giving customary hugs, I continue on to find a seat. A man walks up and hands me an AA big book and a worn plastic covered copy of How It Works. I leave my chair and hurry to get a cup of coffee before the bell is rung to start the meeting. Regular meeting goers have their mugs with their names and clean dates listed on the side of on the side hanging proudly to the left of the to the left on a pegboard on the wall. Everyone else has to use small foam cups. Ring a ling, the cowbell sounds opening the meeting. The group leader speaks in a clear, loud voice. My name is Mary, and I am an alcoholic, and I would like to welcome you to this meeting. For those of you who care to, after a moment of silence, please join me in the serenity prayer. A eerie silence is broken as she continues. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Amen. As many times as I have gone through the ritual, each time my mind still wanders back to my very first meeting. How much differently I feel today. Here, after 22 years plus, these words could hardly keep my attention. I think this happens to a lot of people. They get the big head and the words became st become stale and lose meaning. I sipped my coffee and again lost myself in thought. Why am I here? Why do I keep coming? The only answer I could come up with is to stay sober. I was told I could li if I kept coming back, I could live a drug, -free, drug and alcohol-free lifestyle. Now, that's really what I want for myself. But if I'm honest, I miss the old lifestyle sometimes. Nightlife and having a glass of wine and beer. I know that I can't because above all else, I'm an alcoholic. Whatever I indulge in alcohol, I have an allergic reaction and I can't quit. Then my life becomes unmanageable. But that's a hard fact to swallow about myself. But it's true. That's why I keep coming back, for the camaraderie of knowing I'm not the only alcoholic on the planet, and that if they can do it, so can I. Maybe I can't drink again for the rest of my life, 
but I can go to a meeting for the rest of my life. And so can you. And that will make it all okay. Peace, love, and sobriety.